So social media has been up in arms in the last week or so because the head of Instagram has come out and said this. And I want to start by saying we're no longer a photo sharing app or a square photo sharing app. Now, the reason everyone is panicking is because they feel like Instagram is now not a photo sharing app app at all. And that's not actually what Adam has said. What he said is that it's not just a photo sharing app anymore. I remember when I first joined Instagram many, 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 many years ago, it was a square format only. You couldn't even like log onto a website to look at it. It was all square format. It was all very much kind of, you just took a photo on your phone and it's become this massive, massive thing. But as sports photographers, we often, if you're anything like me, rely on Instagram a lot in order to kind of share your work and kind of engage with your community and drive some traffic into the website and, and generally make kind of your portfolio run through your Instagram feed. Um, and that's kind of very common for us as sports photographers. But what that means then with this news that photo sharing app Instagram isn't a photo sharing app anymore is that because they're focusing on reels and stories and videos and shopping and things like that, that means that the algorithm is going to start looking for full page content. It's going to be looking for any kind of content, whether that's video or photo, as giving it as much real estate as possible. So the way around that at the moment for sports photographers like us is to kind of do a few very simple, very careful things. First off, it means that kind of... <laughs> unless you're going to really dig your heels in and kind of just wait and see it out, kind of the traditional landscape photo that we tend to post onto Instagram is kind of going to die away. And what you now need to be thinking about doing is cropping your work for Instagram on a four by five portrait crop. Now, over the last couple of weeks and months, for some of my stuff, I've actually tested this out. And in general, I get more likes and engagement and kind of a bigger set of impressions on a four by five portrait crop than I do on a traditional kind of like landscape crop. And it's simply because users are seeing more of your content on screen so they can interact with more of your content. Now, you can get around this and put in like wide angle landscape type photos by using a carousel feature where you actually have um, a landscape Im image that's cropped down into two four by five portrait cropped images that you can scan across. And there's some really, really, really good um, sports photographers out there. Some of the big guys from Getty, all those kind of things have been kind of doing a um, an image that's kind of landscape that's cropped in half. So it's two four by five portraits. And then they've shown the full image on the third uh, part of the carousel. So like, there's different ways around doing this. And by doing it, what actually you can do is you're still working within the algorithm and you're still able to kind of show off your work the way that you want to show it off. You're just having to kind of like do it in a slightly different way. So the more you can kind of show your work off on as much of the kind of portrait screen of our phones as you can, the better. The algorithm, algorithm will pick that up a lot quicker and you'll get a lot more reach and engagement. That doesn't mean you have to stop posting landscape photos for an awful lot of the last sort of six months. Um, I've kind of, with especially with the netball, I've, I've posted a lot of uh, landscape photos on Instagram. And I know now that Instagram are moving their algorithm away into a kind of not photo first model, I know I'm going to need to start kind of just changing the way I post things. And if your likes and engagement starts kind of like dropping off in Instagram, that the reason for that is probably because you're not showing enough uh, kind of real estate. You're not showing enough of the photo off on the real estate for the screen that you've got. So you need to kind of bear that in mind. One final thought that I would say is like stick with the platform. It's really easy when kind of, these headlines go out going, well, Instagram's not a photo sharing platform anymore. It's just going to move to video and shopping and all that kind of stuff. It's not what they've said. Um, they've said they're going to basically be doing a lot more. And it's easy to then panic and go, well, what other solutions are there? You know, do I move everything back to Flickr or, you know, 500 pixels or, you know, what else is out there that I can share my photos on? My advice would be be patient and wait. If something pops up and we get a new 
you know, photo version of TikTok all of a sudden come alive where this social media platform just explodes, then yes, start looking at it. But don't just ditch Instagram now because you think it's not a photo sharing platform anymore. There's some really, really good stuff on Instagram. There's an awful lot of great content. There's an awful lot of great photographers who are doing really, really good stuff who aren't rushing away from the platform. So be patient, be wait, try your four by five portrait crops, try your carousels and see how you get on.